Good morning, students. Today we are going to start a new chapter. It's called Waste Generation and Management. Okay, we begin with what is the definition of waste? Waste is any substance which is discarded after primary use or after it is worthless, defective, or of no use. Meaning that whenever we use any substance, okay, and we have finished using it, we have finished with using it, and we discard it, okay, after we have used it, then it becomes a worthless thing for us. Or it may be defective, okay, it may be it gets broken and we discard it. So, anything like that which is of no use to us is known as a waste. You need to learn this definition. Then categories of waste. Now, waste can be of many types, okay. So, we are going to study in detail about different types of waste. So, first one is domestic waste which are given out from our homes. It can be the kitchen waste, it can be the waste from our washrooms, then industrial waste given out from the factories, from the th thermal power plants, etc. Then we have the agricultural waste which is the waste that is generated after, after the food grains, after we have obtained the grains, okay, whatever waste of the plant like that, like the stem, the leaves, the roots and all, they become the waste, agricultural waste. Then we have the municipal waste. This can be the waste coming from the public places like hospitals, it can be from the public toilets, it can be from the schools, it can be from the offices, okay, it can be from a railway station, all this becomes the municipal waste. Then we have the e-waste, which is a very growing waste these days, okay. So, anything that is used with, that we use electro, electrical energy to run, okay, for which we use electricity to run, if that thing gets damaged, it can be a charger, it can be a mobile phone, it can be a laptop, all these when we discard it, okay, it is known as e-waste, okay, electrical and electronic equipment, okay, it can be a TV, it can be anything like that. Now we come to the first type of waste, domestic waste. Okay, now in that we have the kitchen waste. Now kitchen waste, what does it include? The peelings of the vegetables and fruits, the shells from the nuts and the eggs, washings of pulses, rice, etc. Stale, rotten, used tea leaves, leftover food in the food dishes. Okay, I think you don't need an explanation for all these peelings of vegetables and fruits shells like walnut, okay, pistachio, then the eggs, okay, washings, after you wash the dal and the rice and all, whatever waste, whatever water you throw out, it becomes a waste, washing waste. Then the stale, when food goes stale, okay, or rotten, okay, and the use after making tea, the tea leaves that you discard, they are known as used tea leaves, and the leftover food in dishes. Now, we come to the next type of waste that we have very common that is known as plastics. Now, what is this waste? Uh, the plastic packings. Okay, whenever we buy something from out, we get it in a plastic pack, maybe a cling wrap or something like that. And we discard this outer covering, okay, outer plastic. And this becomes a waste. Discarded, used, broken plastic objects. Okay, we use some broken object, uh, one uh, plastic object like a tiffin and it gets broken. We discard it. It becomes a discarded plastic object okay now glass broken glass bulbs okay after you have used a bulb bulb has broken okay the window panes they break you don't no longer can use it we discard it so all this becomes a glass waste rags okay waste pieces of towels after you have used a towel we throw the uh, towel okay once it once it gets worn off we throw it that becomes a waste called as rag Okay, old bed sheets, blankets, cushions, discarded clothing, footwear, etc. Now we come to the next waste that is known as the industrial waste. Okay, as the name suggests, means all that is coming from the industries. Now, what type of industries? It can be the mining industries. Okay, what are mining industries where they uh, where they extract the metals from the ores from under the earth's crust okay so huge amount of waste is produced okay besides getting the metal out they also get the waste out from inside the earth's crust so what is this waste known as it is given a name it's called ta mine tailing okay you need to learn this term mine tailing now mine tailing can be used to make the tiles the cement etc okay then we have the cement industries. Now, solid waste are used in the construction or dumped in the landfills. Now, when there is a cement industry, there can be a solid waste, there can be liquid waste, there can be gaseous waste also. Solid waste, what they do is, they dump it in the landfill. What is a landfill where they dig a hole in the ground and they 
put all the waste in that and they cover it up. It is known as a landfill. What are liquid waste? They are treated to remove the harmful substances and then they are released into the ponds and rivers. Gaseous waste are the fly ash. Okay, whatever waste gaseous waste is known as fly ash and it contains fine solid particles okay which are thrown into the air now this can be purified and it can be used to make the bricks concrete roofing sheets etc now the waste from the oil refineries gaseous waste are passed through cleaners and then released into the atmosphere Okay, so when there are oil refineries also, what are oil refineries? Where they refine the oil, where they purify the oil to make it edible. Okay, so now these gaseous waste are passed to cleaners. Okay, and then they are released into the atmosphere. The impure waste is released into the atmosphere. The liquid waste are, are thrown. Okay, they are processed. Okay, and then they are thrown out. Now we come to construction waste. Whenever there is a construction, you know there is a lot of waste. Now what do they do? They the, These waste are dumped in the landfills and they are covered up. Now we come in detail about agricultural waste. What is agricultural waste? All the waste that is produced after the after we have got the food crops, okay, the grains, the all the waste part, parts, the other parts of the plant become the waste, okay, like the leaves, like the stem, the roots. They are the leaf, they are the waste products. Now what do they do with them? Okay, these leftover parts can be uh, can be then dumped somewhere. It can be used as a biogas, okay. It can be used as a biogas. It can be sometimes even been used to make some items okay like the coir you know it is used to make the uh, ropes okay so jute it is used to make the ropes and all that bagas now what is bagas okay this bagas is a uh, residue that is left after extracting the sugarcane juice okay whenever you have ganna juice you know that part which is left behind from the ganna that part is known as bagas now this bagas it can be used extensively to make the biogas biofuel it can also be used to make reusable items okay like it can be used to make uh, paper plates it can be used also to make uh, make disposable containers okay this was done mainly abroad they are doing this making use of bagas then pesticides and fertilizers what happens to the pesticides and fertilizers they are washed off animal waste the cow dung of course is used to make manure and this dung also in the villages it is used as a fuel okay what is municipal waste the household discharge, okay, the discharge from the restaurants, hospitals, offices, public toilets, all these are known as household, uh, all these are uh, the municipal waste. So, under municipal waste, you will have even the household waste and you have discharge from all these public places. What is sewage? All waste that are carried through the sewers are known as sewage. Okay, what are sewers? They are the pipes which are carrying the waste material. So, anything that is passing through this, okay, carrying the waste material, they are known as sewage. What are the two types of sewage? Degradable part that is capable of breaking down into non-toxic parts. Okay, what is de degradable part? Which can be broken down and those parts which are broken down are non-toxic. Okay, they are non-toxic. They are not affecting human health. Non-degradable part, septic tank is used. Okay, to, to, uh, to dispose of the non-degradable part, a septic tank is used because that part is of no use to anyone. The non-degradable part is dumped or buried at safe places. Thank you. That was all for today.